In today's video, I am bringing to you my breast surgery tips. Hi guys, I'm Marina Blackford. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that button below, like and share this video with somebody that needs it. In today's video, I'm bringing to you my uh, breast surgery tips that I have put together. I have 10 tips for you here along with a bonus tip at the end that I think is very important. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end for that. Where is my expertise? I am a breast cancer survivor twice now. I've just finished, finished my second journey. Um, I have had a double mastectomy, lumpectomy twice and breast reconstruction um, along with multiple uh, surgeries to fix a staph infection at one point. So I've had many surgeries and these are the most important tips I can tell you. Just make sure that you have found a surgeon that you have been referred to and you really feel comfortable with. And if you don't, don't be afraid to get a second opinion from another breast surgeon or plastic surgeon. So you just wanna make sure whoever you pick that you are ready to go with that provider. All right, here we go into my tips. So these are tips that you want to use on surgery day and after. Tip number one, you wanna wear loose fitting clothes and a button down shirt. Clothes are very important when it comes to your surgery day. You don't wanna fit, you don't want to wear anything that is too tight, especially on your bottoms like leggings, anything that's gonna be hard to pull up like really heavy spandex. So make sure you're wearing maybe some lightweight sweats that pull up easily, um, a loose fitting top, or ideally a button up shirt if you're having breast surgery so you don't have to pull something over your head. That's gonna be the easiest thing to take off but mainly to put on after surgery when you're leaving the hospital. Tip number two is to remember to take out all jewelry in anything removable as far as like a mouth appliance before you go to the hospital. So you wanna remove any earrings, any piercings you might have, and in the mouth if you have anything removable that's important too, like a removable bridge or something like that. But make sure you leave all of that at home so there's nothing loose or valuable that you have to keep track of. Number three, Make sure you follow your pre-op instructions. They will likely call you about a day or two before surgery and go over some things like your medical history. So pre-op instructions usually include to stop taking vitamins, medications, um, and even food before surgery. You're usually gonna stop all that like uh, the day before and then food you're gonna not eat after midnight the day before. So make sure you follow those pre-op instructions. Number four, have a pillow or a cushion for your chest for the car ride home. And you, uh, and you might wanna check with your cancer center. I know my cancer center have has volunteers that have made small pillows for just this reason. So if you check with your cancer center, they might even have something free for you to take home. Number five is to drink plenty of fluids after surgery is really important to kind of get all that anesthesia out of your body um, to just rehydrate and just uh, just kind of reset your body so make sure you're drinking lots of fluids number six is to eat food that is easy on the stomach and fibrous after surgery so as soon as you've been cleared to eat when you get out of the hospital or surgery you know, start to have some light meals, maybe some oatmeal, maybe some yogurt, and then start to include some fibrous foods because you're gonna possibly be constipated and it's not fun. That is a result of anesthesia and pain pills um, or painkillers. So uh, make sure you're kind of staying on top of your diet. All right, number seven is to follow your post-op instructions in regards to showering and your bandages and glue. So you just wanna make sure you know when you can get your body wet and um, make sure you're not submerged in any water for a while, that's usually part of post-op. And then just make sure you're letting water you know, lightly run over the area once they tell you you can do that. Number eight is to have a notebook handy at home to document when you have taken your meds and to document your drain output. 
So if you've had breast surgery that has drains, which is something they'll do after um, breast removal um, so that you don't build fluid, you'll have drains. They will show you how to how to kind of milk your drains to pour out the fluid of pour it out of the bulb and measure it into something they'll send you home with. They'll want you to usually record that for usually about a week, I think, and they wanna make sure that that drain output is just getting less and less and less. And when it's below a certain amount, then they can remove your drains, which is usually about somewhere between days 10 and 14, I feel like, so. Number nine is to have a lanyard uh, to hang your drains from when you're showering. Um, so I'll include a link down below to something on Amazon that looks like something I used, but I think it's the best thing when you're trying to shower, you're gonna have your drains and you need to hang them from somewhere. So you can just put on a lanyard and clip the drains to it. Uh, most drains have a little loop, so you can put like a safety pin or something um, and then hang it on that. Uh, so just a washable necklace, lanyard, something that you can hang those from so that you can get in the shower and you don't want them just hanging from your body. So number 10, have a wedge pillow for reclined sleeping after surgery. Um, you can find something online or I think I got mine at Bed Bath & Beyond and um, it was just really handy. I didn't have a recliner at the time. Um, I have one now in my house. A recliner would work great too if you have one. If you don't have a recliner though, make sure you invest in a wedge pillow. Sleeping at um, somewhat of an incline is gonna be best at first. It's also very hard to get up from a laying position. So if you need to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or to take your pain pills, you will need to wake someone or have a bell nearby to have them help you get up. And that's part of having the wedge pillow um, is gonna help you get up. Cause you will not be able to use your arms once you have a double mastectomy. You won't be able to use your arms for about a week because it will be so sore just to push. Um, just so you know, so. All right guys, and you've made it to the end of this video. So here's my bonus tip that I think was super helpful and nobody came to me and told me about, I kind of found it out on my own, but is to consider doing physical therapy about six weeks after having a double mastectomy done. Um, Cause again, you know, that first week or two, you can barely even use your arms. You can barely even lift your arms. Your goal is to get, be able to lift your arms, you know, up a wall at one point. And um, if you are going through cancer treatment and you have insurance, you have likely paid deductibles and it max out of pockets, so take full advantage of your insurance and get physical therapy. Call around, get a referral, but there are physical therapists that specialize in this and can help you rebuild your strength in your chest wall. Um, so they're also gonna work out any um, tight scar tissue that might be going on. So you'll be getting a massage. They're gonna have you be doing some arm exercises and some stretches. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not always the best patient when they send you home with this paperwork and say, do these exercises. So doing physical therapy ensures that you are going to do that. And that is the best advice I could give you after having a major breast surgery. So thank you guys for being here. I hope these tips are helpful. I was excited to finally put them together for you. Make sure you subscribe. I'm doing weekly, weekly videos. Um, again, I'm a cancer survivor and I am a mom, so I have some vlog videos too. I appreciate you being here. Have a great day. Bye.